Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. So you're on family vacation and there was a family picture taken, but you missed out. You were talking to your girlfriend on the phone. So how do you merge one person or Photoshop one person into another image? These pictures were taken from Flickr under the Creative Commons license from Ed Jordan and Steve Poliak. Check out their profiles on Flickr. So the first thing we have to do is to get the picture we want into the other picture. So I'll just do a quick selection with the lasso tool or press L and draw around what I want to take. Go to edit, copy, go to your new image and edit, paste. Now we have this guy in with this family. I'll move him with the move tool and he'll go about here. I'll just do a rough estimate. He's a little bit bigger so I'll have to resize him. Control T. And when you resize you should make sure you hold down the shift button. If you don't you can end up changing the size like this and get it all warped out of size. If you do that you have to press the undo button and then press Control T again and resize it. So you'll just have to eyeball this about there perhaps is the right size. Press on the check when you're done. Now to get him looking like he's part of this image we have to block out this outside around here. When he's not sitting on white or on some very easy to isolate background uh, we have to do this manually. To do that you can press the mask tool make sure you're on the layer where with our new person and press the button here for isolate and select the brush. Now we're going to be brushing out all this background and on black and white select a fairly small brush and zoom in to at least a hundred percent. Press Control Alt Zero to zoom into hundred percent. This image is from the net so it's not very large. I'll do it on a larger scale first. I'm just going to be brushing the background which is brushing on this layer mask. If you don't know how layer masks work, check out a tutorial on those. And we're going to brush all the way around this person to totally isolate them so they're the only thing left on this layer. So I'll zoom in here. And while we're doing this, let's speed things up a little bit and give our dreamy-eyed friend a little cool funk to listen to. So there we have him fairly well isolated. I'll put him into position a little better. You can see he's perhaps a little too big still. So I'll shrink him again, control T and grab the corner with a shift. Now there's a couple reasons why he looks like he's plopped on top of the other guys. One could be this bag here is coming in front of them and obvi most obviously the light color tones are different. This background image is pretty dark so I'll correct the curves in there. If you want to find more information about how curves work uh, you can look for a tutorial on that now if I'm gonna add a curves here I want it just to affect this here top layer so I'm gonna hold down the alt key while I click and press on curves and then here I can use previous layer to create clipping mask so this curves layer is only gonna affect this layer that's underneath it if I go crazy here it just affects that image of the new guy now it looks like they're a little more red so I can go into the red and bring this curves up a bit to increase the red in that guy and he looks also a little more saturated so I'm gonna add hold down the alt key again click here hue saturation click on the use previous layer as clipping mask and we can see we have a hue saturation that only affects this layer and I'm gonna bring that down a little bit for him and I'm also gonna go into the curves again and bring down his blue. You just have to play with this a little bit to try to figure out the color values that are correct with the rest of the image. It looks about okay. If I click on this layer with my new guy I can maybe snuggle him in a little bit. To make him look like he's part of the group how about we put his leg behind her leg. 
To do that, I'll click on my layer mask again, make sure it's selected, and then with the brush key, bring her leg in front, and this bag, we'll put it behind this guy here. If you want to paint back what you masked out, you compress the X key and that flips this black and white, uh, which flips what you're painting with on the mask. If you paint with white, you bring back the mask. If you paint with black, you create the mask. And one more thing we can do is I'll create a layer in between the background layer and my new guy, blank layer. And again, I'm going to use the brush with black. And I'm going to change the opacity to 20%. Or you can change it up here. I just pressed the 2 key to jump to 20. And I'm going to brush a little bit and create some shadows underneath the sky. I chose 20% so it affects the image quite slowly. And we should actually maybe put a little shadow back here too. So I'm going to create another shadow layer on top. This is going to go on top of everything. And to make this only affect our new guy, I can click on this layer mask we have already. And then with this shadow layer selected, I can press the layer mask. And it automatically masks with what was selected. So we have an automatic mask for our shadow on this guy. So that's getting pretty close. If you were, if you wanted to make it look perfect, you could go into these edges here and create a little bit of detail. You could perhaps bring up the lighting uh, these two a little more. But essentially, that is the way to do it. All right, check out more tutorials on tutorvid.com.